Uh, try again. Hey, welcome everybody. I think we're live now. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much for the raid, Steve. Welcome everybody. What what might Chris never know? That might Probably be something from continuing the last over. Chat. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Uh, what were you guys playing, Steve? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing for another month, Steve. <laughs> Metal Gear and Solid. Second. Metal Gear Solid. Were you playing Metal Gear Solid, Steve? Okay. Okay. Opening Pokemon. Okay. Pokemon. It's okay. I was like, is someone else about to go through all the Metal Gears? MGS is merch guy, Steve. Oh, you right. You right. That's why Steve's banner on Twitter is what it is. Because you Created made it. by Clayton. Because I made it for him. All right. Well, um, Patsy told me that we actually didn't finish. Welcome. We finished the quest. What? Oh, right. We finished the quest, but we actually didn't finish the story. Which so shouldn't actually... be a thing. Well, we're supposed to come here for another quest. So we, I would have found it eventually. Uh, yeah, but still. No, Chris, no there's no from sound game? from the game. Is that my fault? Not uh, getting it through the cur Vega. Currently, right now, it? there's no sound. Yeah, I didn't think I had you set for the master. Now there should be audio for the game. I've been hearing sound this entire time. Right, because you're not getting the master bus, you're getting bus D. Oh, okay. So, stream, gets, stream gets the master bus. This is a place called the Forbidden Temple. In the first game, it was completely inaccessible. It was absolutely like filled to the brim with guardians, but you couldn't come in here. Or guardians everywhere that would just explode your whole ass if you went in here. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Steve. Uh, my, I get bus C. <laughs> Logan gets bus E. <laughs> and uh, Shelby is bus D. Is that a comment on my breast size? According to Steve, it is. So if you're going to be mad at me, mad at Steve. Wow. And I know you're not going to be mad at Steve. Nobody can be mad at Steve. I can yeah. be mad at Steve. Oh, I can't stay mad at you. I can't stay mad at Steve. He'll just send me a picture of Kaz. I'll go, oh! So, um, here's Impa. She's just chilling in the back. I came this far, and I found that temple or that shrine. And I was like, okay, this is as far as I go. Because I didn't want to know if something would trigger by coming over here. Good call. Hmm. Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. I believe there's something related to the geoglyphs somewhere within this temple. I'm searching, but so far... It has been in vain. The chambers are enormous, and so it will be a difficult task at best. Where could it be? Also, you're really old. So. It might take you a day to go through what I can go through in an hour. So this is one of the uh, goddess statues that, like, upgrades your, um, like, health and stamina. Okay. And it, it's all knocked over. behind it, which was inaccessible in the first game, looks to be a chamber. Because the statue was right up against the wall in the first game. Do you ever get to go into that this temple in the first game? Like, do the guardians ever leave? Uh, you can either run past them or fight them all. Um, and I believe back in this room, there was a shrine somewhere in here so you had to like get past them to come back to this room with this big goddess statue just to do a shrine and the goddess statue like just refilled your hearts so if you got your ass kicked you could like get revived but now it's knocked over oh what is this This is this is the room where the uh, the secret stones were that Raru gave to the sages. Remember, they were like inside oh, this thing. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Them looking like a open petal flower. Uh, 
Secret uh, stone, says Chris. I don't know if there's a way to fast forward. Oh, we'll just watch until we see this room. Yeah, they're in this room right now. King Raru. We just received word that the last free village forward. in the Gerudo Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Rauru. The Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, Goron, Zora, and Rito leaders, as well as Zelda. I mean, and now. of course, until I go you can back count home. on me. Well, until I become a dragon. A long way. There's something I'd like to show you all. So he's opening the door to the room that I'm in right now. Yeah, that's a good memory. Sacred stones. Stand with me. I need all your aid. Anyways, I'm just gonna skip it now because I just wanted to show this room. But yeah, he gives the secret stones to the sages. Hey, yeah, I didn't remember that weird thing in the center of the room. It was uh. They were above it. Yeah. And that's Float. this room. And the door he opened was that door. Is that the room I came from? I have Dag. I turned around in all the circle rooms. Yeah, this is the room I came from. So this is goddess statue must have been a later addition then. Because in the first game, it was like totally blocking this whole area. Oh, maybe it was that back room over there. Why do you think the goddess statue is down? I don't know. I probably the upheaval knocked it over. Oh, hmm. uh, you know what, what this is? What? This is Sonya's grave. Why do you say that? Because it's a gravestone, or because there were flowers on them on it? Uh, both. Okay. Kind of didn't look like this, a gravestone in my capture. Just kind of looked like a, a something blob. randomly sticking out of the ground. Yeah, and it's all just grass. There's no like texture to it to tell. Uh, until, okay, well, so there's... now it's it snaps in, and you can see like an actual stone, and then the little stones around the edges of it, and everything. Yeah, they didn't come from this room. He unlocked that door on the other side of the chamber, so it came from outside of this room. What's this? Geoglyphs are on these wall tapestries. Oh. I'm and glad you a, said that because I couldn't have been able to tell that. And is that. A, this looks like a map of Hyrule with yeah. where the geoglyphs are. Is there anything so, else up here before you climb down? No, it just looks like a walkway around. Okay. So those geoglyphs being in those location wasn't random. It looks like it was planned. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. Something's happening. I see. Now I can see that they're the little that they're the geoglyphs. And there's Impa. Ah. Ah, this place. <laughs> Wasn't that hard to find, old lady? <laughs> She's like, where could it be? Like, two doors down. <laughs> Random. Uh, Random. Ah, uh, jelly. Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. 
I hope he carried her down like Yoda and Luke Skywalker. Oh. There, upon the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Hmm. What could this mean? Uh. I believe the one we saw first was the geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. As for the next painting, mm -hmm. uh, according to the floor map, it's near Rito Village. I wonder if I was supposed to find this first, Ooh. actually. It seems like the locations of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked in the floor uh, floor map as well. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin has still held such secrets? Uh, it is said that the geoglyphs appeared in uh, all over Hyrule during the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. Okay. Hey, Patsy. Hey, Patsy. Hey, ha. Cheat. I mean, you kind of... I wouldn't say cheated, but you definitely used a guide. Oh, yeah. But using a guide is not cheating. Uh, hmm. How are they connected to those images here? There's oh. no time to dawdle. Let's hurry up and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Hey, guess what, Impa? I don't think there's any more, Impa. You know what? She oh, said she when we f investigated that first geoglyph that she was coming here. I remember her saying she was going to the Forbidden Temple. I don't remember that. <laughs> so... I I was I bet you I was supposed to come here before finding the geoglyphs. And then you would have found and, all the locations. Yeah, and then gone to them and then come back as the final part. But I'm about to tell her that I already did it. Yep. <sighs> Skipping. <Lady Impa. laughs> Perhaps uh, you should rest a bit uh, before trying such a journey. Trying such a trying oh. journey. Oh. Link, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they will provide some clues to lead us to Princess Zelda. Ugh, I'm gonna have to tell her. Yep. Ah, oh, Link, are you making progress on your investigation of the geoglyphs? You haven't moved, but apparently you've done a bunch of research all of a sudden. <laughs> Impa, we were so fast. Oh. You didn't even know. I see. So the dragon's tears were shed by Princess Zelda when she transformed. And the geoglyphs were drawn by an ancient people who touched those memories and saw visions, as you did. Uh, perhaps in the past, uh, they were more attuned to a sort of thing than people... Perhaps in the past, they were more attuned to that sort of thing than the people of today. Hmm. Oh, I understand Patsy's now. playing Zelda. Oh, is she? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I yeah, like have popped. totally blanked out that whole part of the screen whenever it moves. Quinn says she is mm, unfazed by this. <laughs> I understand now. So this is the truth of it all, Link. So if all the memories you how saw you do are true, as a mom, Patsy. <laughs> if all the memories are you saw are true, then that means since our, our princess Zelda has become the Light Dragon, she can never again return to her original form. Patsy, you said this is going to make me feel a little bit that? better. Oh. It is uh, painfully tragic, our dear Princess Zelda. No, it oh. cannot be. Oh. There must be a way. Say? Some method to restore Princess it. Zelda to her former self. Link, I will return to Kakariko Village and renew the ancient, uh, review the ancient literature once more. That is the most I can do to help Princess Zelda. I'll explore this room a little bit. See, <laughs> I knew, I knew process. she'd come back. Like, there's no way. There's a thing here. A tear with a tear. All right. There's also a Zen garden that Link's totally messing up over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're really fucking it up. So this is a map of huh. Hyrule. Patsy says, would I ever lead you astray with Zelda of all things? No, I don't think so. so or is it this... tear? Yeah. The tear, tear. A this tear is of a tear? Hyrule Castle. I'm wondering... Because this is from... Thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Like, how much different everything would be. There's no way for us to tell because they're never going to show us, but. 
I'm like, sure I'm looking, there's something out there. There's a mountain range uh, over here by the Molduga geoglyph where a river has torn a mountain in half. Mm -hmm. Like this is called Dueling Peaks. And if you look at this, it's one mountain. Now, is that because there's not a lot of detail on this map, or was this just one mountain back then? Go back to the real map. Here. So here's the Mulduga, and then just down and to the right is the Dueling Peaks Mountain. All right, now go back. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of see it. Okay. Uh, so let's go to Kakariko Village and see if she says anything there. She's like, beat you there. How to tell us how to fix Zelda. You know what's going to happen. I liked Clayton's method. I don't know if... I think we turned off stream before we said it, but he said, uh, oh, just have Zelda go completely... Uh, vertical, and then ascend through her. Oh God, that's right. <laughs> and grab the uh, secret stone on your way through. That would be so gross. Uh, Zelda, or that's Impus House right there. Damn, she got a big place. she at though she hasn't made it here yet she's gonna take a bit all right there also might be something else i need to do in the meantime like she yeah, might like say it. she's gonna be here but she won't actually appear here until i finish like the four like areas first right something like that all right well let's go see what sidon's up to You have the gear, right? The um, equipment? Yes, I have the uh, Zora's, the Zora armor. Gotcha, armor. And that's I... the word I was trying to think of over and over and over. My brain just wasn't <laughs> processing it. And uh, over the last week, I kind of went by that area. So there's going to be a shrine at like the halfway mark of us moving around up there. But I already, I already found it. <laughs> but we already learned from the... Tulin area that you can't skip ahead. The game won't let you. Right. No. Take the stairs. Mm, shoes are all wet now. Okay, they're boots. These boots were made for water. These boots were made for sloshing, and that's just what they'll do. Hot-footed frog. I don't, I don't know what that even means. It's a ingredient for elixirs. For frog legs. Oh, A waterfall to the sky? Yeah, you better get used to it, Groove. <laughs> I'm excited to see how this goes. Oh, I didn't even have to do anything. I just did it. It just automatically, you just swim up. Yeah, I touched it and up I go. Oh, oh it's low gravity here. Oh. Oh. Ooh, went all the way to the moon. Is 
upside down here? I thought he jumped ahead last week before we logged off. Like, he was like, I'll be up there. You let me know. Is that I didn't him? Pass him did I? No. Is that? I don't know. A bubble? Oh, shoot. Yeah, shooting it. Oh, yeah, it's oh. like a little bubble maker. And it helps you go places and travel places, I guess, in this area yeah, up here. I guess I ride it up. Uh, that's just a wall. That's not actually a platform. I think it seems to be timed. Is it about to pop? Yeah, that, that, I think the thing in the middle is like gripping it. It's like gripping like a bubble of water. Ah, Definitely need that to go up there. Mm-hmm. Moon. Moon. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Where's the lad? Control the bubbles? Um, maybe I can grab them with a uh, uh, ultra hand. Where's my bubble? Steve says, gotta play God Hand now. Oop. I was gonna say, you better get it while it's good. Oh, there's some tough construct guards over here. I, I played the game too much and I got too much experience. So uh -huh. now they throw really strong enemies at me all the time. Oh, that sucks. You gonna try to stealth? He saw me. What the fuck? Place says the best thing about God Hand is the bell ding when you kick dudes in the crotch. Oh, I've, I've never heard of this God Hand. Or a bell that rings, dings whenever you kick guys in crotches. God Hand is an amazing game to play. I've heard it's really good. I've never played it, though. Where's... Where's Sidon? It's gonna be at the end. He's gonna be at the end of the puzzle, I'm sure. Play says it's silly and it knows it. Sergio says God Hand was a trip and a half. There's a treasure chest right here. Genuinely surprised you haven't pulled it on, played it. I think it's supposed to be on stream as an emergency gameplay. <laughs> Is how it's going to be, and that's going to be included in tomorrow's like grab bag of games. Places I've thought about it. Step away for a minute, but I'm gonna tag Clay, uh, Clay in. Okay. 
Ring the bell. Ding, ding, ding. Don't kick me in the back. Yes, I, I have, I have considered playing God Hand before. <laughs> Still have so far to go. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, oh, uh, Logan does. Oh yeah, because I was like looking up. Oh okay. I was like following the path. I mean, I'm still outside. I could, if I wanted to say, just screw it and fly up there. Y yeah, you got your bike. In fact, that right there is the shrine that I uh, already unlocked. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I just, I don't know if Sidon is up there or if I need to actually be with him right now. Hmm. I don't know if I've already screwed up. Sidon, be with you. I'm already dead. Oh, the, the waterfalls give you, like, a speed boost if you jet out the top of them? Uh, yeah, because of the Zora armor I'm wearing. That's cool. I Swim. I'm, I'm swinging up it, and then I right. launch out the top. And you're going so much faster than the water, you <laughs> levitate like freaking Neo. Yeah, and this, yeah, this is, like, also a low-gravity area. Oh, is it? Okay, uh, that's why it's so floaty. floaty. Yeah, you look like Kirby. So this is a shrine I've already unlocked. I came here on a bike, and I was like, well, maybe I'll just do the shrine and leave. Mm -hmm. I'm really worried that I screwed up and don't have Sidon with me. But I guess I'm just going to keep moving forward until the game says, uh, what are you doing? Where's Sidon? Get out of here. Sidon, the sidekick. You had to hold on to that at least a little bit. It's a glider. I mean, but it's still kicking it out from under you. Oh, I see. No, I got those, uh... I Back got those boots. grippers. <laughs> I got those grippers, so... Yeah. That thing has six eyeballs. Six eyeballs, eyeballs, huh? on the flow. I'm almost there. I just gotta fall, gotta climb these. Not Suspicious no. looking water pillars. No results. Uh, one word. No results. Two words. That is console exclusive? And PS2 is a search result. Uh, Clover <laughs> Studio published by Capcom. I mean, it's Caps Capcom. They have a history of bringing their stuff to Steam. Uh. Mm, they're not letting me cheat. I have to go to that retro store and say, hey, you got God Hand? <laughs> <laughs> okay, not 
God hand. This is not God hand. This is... This is Satan Toe. <laughs> this is a VR game called God Hand. God hunt underscore hand. No, wait. And there's no one. Satan Toe. Uh... There's a change.org release God Hand HD on PS4, PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One. Uh, 8,193 uh, signatures of the 10,000 goal. Uh, it was started January 11th, 2018. Pe petition That's my birthday. God Hand. Hey. Um, yep. They are uh, 1,500 and some change. Away from their, from their ten thousand goal. However, it's still active. Somebody signed it uh, four days ago. And somebody signed it less than twenty-four hours ago. So it's not it's not a dead petition. There's still some some action on this. <clears throat> oh, wait a second. 2017. Apparently Shinji Mikami would like to see God Hand on Steam. Thank you, Mikami-san. He says a digital library is preferable to a physical one. 2017? 2017, Mikami-san was saying this kind of stuff? Man. Could you imagine if we had all the games that Clayton has on Steam in physical copy? There would not be enough room in this uh, fucking house. Would you, uh, I challenge both of you to take your best guess, uh, Price is Right rules on what my, uh, Steam game library is, not including software or music or tools or anything like that. Closest, closest without going over. Ooh, wait, hold on. That's, that's Price is Right rules? Uh-huh. 900. Okay, shall we say 91. <laughs> you are such a dick. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you, uh, Logan has won, but for the I know, I know it's way more than nine hundred. I just wanted to be yeah, a, a jerk. For the comedy <laughs> of it. Let me see what I done got. I get to my library and big picture. Was my first guess closer with twelve hundred? I actually don't know. I don't know if I had. Oh yeah, um, it tells me all games one thousand and eighty-four. Oh, okay. So it wasn't that far off. 1,200 yeah. would actually would have been over. Right? Yeah. And it didn't matter what number you were going to say, Shelby. I was going to say whatever, whatever, and one. And so one. if you yep. had said 1,200, uh -huh. I would have. we would have both lost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why you did, That's why you were so quiet ahead of time. I was like, oh, yeah. Not gonna, okay, I'm going to go first yeah. then. Sh yeah. I should have known. I should have known. You give him the chance. Logan's going to cheat. Ch cheating? No. <laughs> I'm gaming the system. Is it cheating or is it? Yeah. Is it, uh, what do we call it? We have it? a number you of the a game mechanics. Uh, visitors. <laughs> we can hold that oh audience. my god, I'm curious. I don't know, Quentin, you were on the cruise. What do, you, what do you think about how I acted? He was your the... partner, that doesn't count. Shush, 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 shush. It's complicit. Did you just <laughs> shush me? <laughs> shush, 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 shush. Yeah, you gotta say shut your mouth. I heard, yeah. I heard, um, this fucking asshole I work with. He's a goddamn boomer, which explains so much now that I know that. And. He uh, he shushed someone one day, and I heard it, and I just looked at my coworker, and I was like, "Did so and so just shush someone?" That is the biggest pet peeve I have, and anyone who has known me for any significant amount of time knows that is that'll that'll fuck your day up if you try to do that to me. And I, it was I, funny. One time I one time I shushed you on stream, but I wasn't trying to be like malicious about it. Just something was happening and my brain just was like, uh, Shelby needs to be quiet. So I just went shush, yeah. shush, shush. And then you went, did you shush me? Right. But I still <laughs> wanted to hear what he said. So I went, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate. I don't know if you remember that. It was during GTFO. Uh, it doesn't surprise oh, me. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. Yeah, it was during one of those like radio uh, broadcast things. Right, yep. <laughs> Ben says he was the one that gave the bribe money. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's because you guys weren't coots. <laughs> Amy says shush. Hello, oh, sorry, I couldn't resist. Love you bunches. <laughs> Look at you getting shushed by another boomer. Uh, how dare. <laughs> how dare. My life is just ruined. 
I know what they want me to do. Here. I'm, I'm going to do what they want me to do. I'm not going to game the system. This isn't uh, winning a, a you gotta uh, enjoy scavenger. Fun. It isn't winning a scavenger hunt or anything, so I can just do what they want me to do. Right. Did I tell you guys? Uh, no, I don't think I did. So, my grandmother were testing out like what her abilities are physically, um, what she can handle with traveling and such. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I talked a little bit about that the other day because we talked about like the your trip. And so the other day she decided that as a test we should go to fucking Hawaii. <laughs> what a test! And yeah. I was like. Are you fucking kidding me, Grammy? Like that's not a that's not a test. But, but okay, I'm gonna look it up. I think Grammy just wants to go to Hawaii. That's exactly what that's it fucking is. Like. And I'm like, why do you want to go to Hawaii? Hawaii is expensive as hell to go to. My mom's a wanted criminal in Hawaii. No, oh, she's not. Yeah, she is. She's a no good, dirty uh, parking ticket not payer. Oh. <laughs> From Florida, Orlando to Hawaii is 12 hours. 12 hours! Oh, there he is. I see him. See, I told you he'd be at the end of the puzzle. Oh. Uh. <laughs> You're like, it's Logan Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, how about we go to Jamaica? It's warm still, so you don't get cold. They've got good food. You know, you've been there before, so you'll feel comfortable. And it's like a three-hour flight. Like, that's a test to see what you can handle. Not a, let's go do 12 hours to fucking Hawaii. Logan, when... Oh, hold on, I'll, I'll wait until this. I'll let you read this. It really is such a strange place. My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. As we are in an unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution, Link. Please take care as you forge ahead. Hey, now he's my buddy. What does he do? <laughs> oh, that's right. Quintus, I don't think anyone in your family should drive with all the troubles you have. Uh, Logan, do yeah. you, do you think of The Simpsons when you hear the word Hawaii the way I do? No, I don't okay. think so. There's a scene, and I can't remember what season it is. I feel like it's in one of the later ones. I'll let you read this. Done and done. Link, let us keep pushing forward. There's a, there's a scene, and I it feels like maybe 14 or 16, where Homer is in jail for something. I can't remember what it was. It might be when he was doing the insurance fraud with his car. He, tr he drives it off the, the cliff and tries to get the uh, car insurance money for it. Right. Um, is that the one where he, like, dove out of the car uh -huh, and then exactly. rolled around and hit a rock and then jumped and <laughs> fell back? In the uh -huh. car? <laughs> exactly, yep. Um, I love that scene. Similar to when he was jumping out of the burning house. Or no, Ned threw him out of the burning house. He hits the mattress <laughs> on the ground and bounces back into the burning house. <laughs> into the lower floor. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, but <laughs> Later's just like, ah. Somebody says they're going to Hawaii, and, and Homer's in jail, and he leans out the, the barred window. He goes, Hawaii? Who's going to Hawaii? Are you going to Hawaii? Can I go to Hawaii? And Wiggum is in the other room. He goes, stop saying Hawaii back there. But now, every time I hear the word Hawaii said more than, like, twice, I, I just get immediately teleported back to that scene. Well, from now on, every time somebody says Hawaii more than three times, you have to say, Stop saying Hawaii, Stop saying back, Hawaii there. back there. <laughs> uh, I do not think of that, but I will never forget it. I'm going to try and find it so I can post it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, from what I can tell, all the sludge uh, waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words... If there, if there is a scourge for this sludge somewhere, it must be Link. No, I'm not. No, no. -uh. Once you are ample prepared, let us dive right in. I'm ready. Right. It is time has finally arrived. Off we go. Wait, let me ride. Oh. Logan really wants to ride this dude. Well, it was like a huge part of the... Well, it wasn't... A huge part, but it was one small part of the first game, and it was fun. You're too old for piggybacks now. Also, passes this Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. What is that? Thing? That doesn't look right. Logan, I found it immediately. 
Oh, cool. Posted it in it, context. The, the video is called Stop Saying Hawaii. I cannot believe how easy it was to find this freaking video. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. And it is laser guided exactly that scene. Uh, in context, where am you? Where you water are. temple. Uh oh, Clayton, the water temple. Oh no. YouTube Mostly Simpsons, the YouTube channel. It was it seven years ago, so I could watch it today. Well, guys, I'm going to pause the game so I can watch a YouTube video. Nobody else can watch me watch it. <laughs> Quietly watching a video off stream. Now you know what episode it is. I guess that's where we're going to start with the Simpson episodes tonight. Maybe it is an older episode. That animation looks pretty old. I'm saying why back then. <laughs> Good stuff. Yep. I'm going to isolate that. Just the wig them. Stop saying Hawaii in there. I bet you could. There's make no it audio a, playing. Make yeah. it a thing. Sound, <laughs> sounds Hawaii. How magnificent to think that such a structure is floating above the sky above uh, above. To think such a structure is floating in the sky above our own Zora's domain. Link, look. Mm -hmm. that look. That looks like the bad guy from Super Mario Sunshine. It is surely the source of the sludge. I'm certain of it. We must do something about it. Ah, super kawaii. <laughs> Stop saying kawaii in there. Stop saying kawaii back there. You edit it so it says that instead. I could, I, there's, there are little noises where you can inject audio into Audacity. And if I could record a little, like, a little catch. There has got to be Wiggum making that sound somewhere. I mean, it's it's such a high pitch, it's a high frequency noise. It's like using a T sound, like the the, the frequency that you hit when you do t is such a right. such a high piercing sound. You could almost inject it anywhere, and it doesn't. A T sound doesn't sound like anybody's voice. It's just it's a, it's, such, a, it's the hi hat sound. Right. It's it's a, yep. It's a yep. I could probably record that myself and turn Wiggum saying Hawaii into Kawaii. <laughs> that is it. Uh, Link, do you uh, you see it? Do you not? If we could only make it's that right water. right there, shooting brown <laughs> sludge everywhere. Of course, we fucking see it. So we need to turn on all the water fountains, which are probably just like things off to the side here. What is that? There's a dreidel spinning up there. That's supposed to be freaking out like that? Uh, I would have to think so. Is it made out of clay? Ah. All right, now I can teleport right to the dump of the temple. that all we had to do? Really? No, we have to get all five of those filled up with water first. Oh! It seems it did not work. <laughs> but you saw it too, didn't you? Using that mechanism did an effect. There's simply mm. not enough water. Mm -hmm. That sound again? Oh, oh he's having a flash. Cherished kin, this is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. Was she done talking? Heed my words. No. Oh no, this you didn't do this. Huh. It happened yet again. But Only the this water time bill. I hear the voice loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> the water bill. I'm more worried about the electric bill right now. 105 degrees, according to the car today. Yikes. Four faucets. I see. If we turn those on, we can acquire more water for the water vessel. For those water vessels. Right. <laughs> Let us get to work, Link. Together, with our powers combined, you are captain below the planet. 
Uh, there is <laughs> nothing in this world we can do. We can be captain below the planet in the depths. Oh, we ah. can. Okay. What? What? Am I under attack? Am I dying? Oh. It was a chew. Oh, there's wa there's regular choo choos here. So uh, when they die, I can get their uh, chew jelly. That's something that you may need for this. Is that why they showed up here? Uh, yeah, because they're the choo uh, choo choo jelly. Regular blue choo choo jelly is water. It's like a water element. Oh, so it's in case you need. Okay, gosh, you didn't have any, and you need those to yeah. solve this puzzle. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> So oh. my hydrants will be your friends as Patsy. There's a kind of like-like design. It's a fire like-like. Okay. Let's make myself fireproof. Damn. Nice level three you got there. Is Say what? I like level three helmet you got there. What's wrong? PUBG. Oh. Wow. <laughs> old wooden shield was inside that like like oh by the way patsy found out that if you uh uh have a wooden shield and you like hold it up like this against an enemy with a bow mm -hmm. uh they'll fire their arrows into it and then when you put it away you actually collect the arrows ha huh. that's but cool but it won't do that for metal shields cuz they don't stick in it yeah There's gotta be a point to this. Oh, I can ascend up into it. <laughs> I was like, can you? Just took it a minute. Can I climb that? I know. Oh, I could literally jump up. Never, low gravity. <laughs> Oh, they've got elemental arrows. Oh. Uh, Zonai constructs are can't swim. And dead. Sonai constructs can't do? What? You can't bait. It fell in the water somehow. Uh, yeah. I bet too I bet Tulin shot it. No, very easy. <laughs> oh hey Sidon. You just appeared out of you just backflipped yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, I thought that was an enemy dropping down. Sludge on it, so I'm going to do a Patsy set. Dead. Get a hydrant out. Got a bunch of them. a bubble thing next to you, so maybe... 
Doesn't that uh, make a bubble? It does. I heard it make a bubble a second ago. I see the bubble. There it is. So where would that bubble be? You can move bubble. Oh, I just that freaking launched me out of it. Okay, I think Oh, okay, there's those little floating platforms. Okay, I think I know what to do. I, think I have to Get this closer. It's <laughs> not working. <laughs> can you pause it so when at one of these times that it's the open side, you can see what's in it? Um. It doesn't look like I can. I think I probably need to do something else to it. There's something in there. Hmm. Yeah, but it's a bunch of covered in sludge. There's a target inside, jump and shoot an arrow to slow things down. Okay. Um, that's the case. Let's do this. What exactly are you doing? Try to get up there. Oh, I shot it too high up. Oh, I can. Ju it's low gravity. I can just jump anywhere. Target in there, huh? Oh! I just realized what I'm supposed to do. Are you supposed to use the stuff you've been using to get rid of sludge? Yeah, but I can do it in slow motion in here. I'd say you're a genius. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. stopped it. Okay. That's the thing. See that? I'm certain mm -hmm. that this water wheel must be connected to the temple's faucet. Okay, so come down here. Give me your power. Or are you just gonna hang out up here? Yeah. Uh, also, uh, opals. You can fuse uh, gems to. Uh, you fuse gems to like weapons and shields, and they'll produce like elemental effects. Uh huh. And opals element is uh, water. Can you attach can... them to maybe a little small ring so you can give it to Zelda? Oh, that's right. Maybe a big ring now for a big dragon feet. 
You know what? Yeah. Over Kakariko Village is a giant ring of uh there's a giant ring of a uh, old Zonai ruin. Just have her fly through that. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. She won't. Oh, that's right. She doesn't know the fuck you are. Uh, Patsy texted me the other day. She's like, I beat the story, and it's oh, amazing. Wow. And I'm like, don't tell me anything else. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. What's this? Ah, okay. See a puzzle like just like this in one of the uh, shrines. Like, I bet you it is, but I wonder. Do you remember in the first temple we did, the more, like, steps well we finished? Now you just need to open the remaining Like, two. more enemies showed up? Uh huh. I wonder what that's going to look like in this temple. If that were to happen, they would probably throw them at you each time you finish the section. True, but I also haven't been back to the center yet. True. Right, there's one in the center. It looks like it's in the first basement. I'm going to go here. But I'm going to do this one because it seems to be the trickiest. Well, not the trickiest. It's just not low ground. <laughs> yep. See it in the center down there? I do. I see something there. Try to get a sneak attack on it, but it saw me. You took him out super easy, still. <laughs> this place is full of blue choo choos. Which is I good. I have to give you that so that you can do it. We like that. <laughs> On. You stand there doing nothing. Beautiful, babe. How about elemental stats? Wait, are you still playing Destiny at all? On weekends or, you know, when you're off or whatever? Just played today. Oh, okay. They added fishing to the game. Of course he's playing. Oh, that's true. That's exactly true. Did some fishing. Yep. Yeah. 
you seeing Sidon, like, just fall in from above? I bet you I need to get this up there. I hate so to say it, because it's just going to break Clayton's heart, but how in the hell did they fucking add fishing, but they still don't have fucking sparrow racing as a thing? I mean, I know the answer. What's that? It's because only Clayton likes sparrow racing, I think. Oh, really? No one else enjoys playing on those sparrows? I mean, I, I never hear anybody else talk about it. I watch several different uh, Destiny, like, YouTubers. <laughs> Unless they just have had their heart broken too many times and they just don't speak about it. Don't bring up what shall not be said. Sergio says, I had 175 bait today, whittled it down to 55, caught one exotic fish. Quinn says, did you catch a salmon? Sergio says, because SRL uh, Sparrow Racing isn't a seasonal. And I love, he says, Sergio says he loves it. I never played it. Oh, Brandon apparently has been trying to, oh, to catch another one, and I assume you mean another salmon. Let me go to the store. Oh, I, get a good deal. I think I know how to get that orb up here. No, I don't know how to get that orb up here. I think I have to start here. Though. <laughs> Why did I jump through it? I thought you were going off. Looks on you, Quentin. I'm already off on the deep end. Um, okay, I'm gonna try something. Don't know if it'll work. What's the worst that could happen? I lose the ball. Yeah, you get it back. Just die or reload. underwater there oh that's what? right once the water goes down i'm sure that's we'll be able to see it oh that right there that's where the ball goes oh okay although i'm worried the ball might float it will be a problem uh, uh, uh. <laughs> are you figuring something out Oh. That's what I said. I was imitating you. Oh. <laughs> I still need to get the ball up there, but I think I know how to do that. Well, is the door not open to that chamber now? No. The on ball the other side? will open. The ball will open that. Oh. I thought it was open on the other side. My bad. It would have been like... We acknowledge your progress. Congratulations on the playing the game. Oh, my other.
Come on, dog. Alright. How else are you gonna get the ball up there, then? trying to do it a fun and cool way, but do it the stupid way. Hey, side on. Get the cartwheeling into my That door. was so cool how you did that in the middle of the thing and you're flinging it around. Oh, the water's back. Yep, ball float. Yeah, because I took this platform. This is a floating platform that I was holding the gate open. I didn't realize that it was we the water was refilling to this area. Should we go now? Hopefully the ball doesn't... Okay, good. There we go. Whoop. Side on. You can cartwheel into my view. Yeah, take your time. Yeah, just... He's coming. He's coming. Oh, you need me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do the biddly be do. All right, just one more thing. Oh, it did do the biddly. Music changed. Now to the basement, which is down there where all that fire is. Makes sense. Wouldn't want to make it easy. But that yeah, was worse than happen. I have armor that makes me fireproof. So. Is that the armor you have on right now, though? No. Oh. No, I took that off. I thought you were going to try to go through it in the middle without. So I was like, D why did you jump off to just go into it when you don't have the armor ready? I don't. It might still knock me back, but I won't burn. No, I'm good. Oh, it evaporated the water off me. See that? I'm steaming. Yeah, you are. That was cool. Also, I bought a second hood, so I could on the fly change between hood up and hood down. Ha! Huh. Depending on how I'm feeling that day. A little jelly. There's a floating platform with a chest upside down on it over there. Hattie says that's a good idea with the hood. Uh, so I need to get that ball in this wall. What is this do? Might actually do something. I'm just too heavy. Or too light, actually. We're side on. We'll stand on it. We'll get some heft to it. Uh, he probably can't come in here with the fire. Probably not, no. I have to shut it off Ooh. first. Are those spikes? Yep, and they're also uh, instant death. Well, I shouldn't say instant death. It'll, like, respawn me at the edge.
so nice. That I literally need for nothing now because I've upgraded my batteries on the way already. <laughs> what is using my battery? Somebody's using my battery right now. Is it the, that know. water hydrant from forever ago? No, no. There's no way. Music is so dramatic. there a little bit. Oh, he's going to show up. What are you going to do then? <laughs> just comes crashing into the wall. Oh, oh frick. Oh, frick. Oh. This, it, this low gravity is messing me up a little bit. I think I can just climb out of here. Yep. You could. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I bet that's what's using my batteries. One of these hover stones is activated through me for some reason. Oh. is if I let go, is it going to fall? Yes. Well, if only we had something that hovered in air and stayed in place. <laughs> what, what did you say? How do you get it to stay? And you're like, if only I'm like, okay, well, I'm sorry, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Sidon's not in here. Five faucets, it should just be the boss of his temple. You did it, Link. Beating this temple way faster than I thought I would, to be perfectly honest. I think okay. that is very actually in depth. depth. Now we just need to use the central device. Right, we should be right under this. So all I should have to do is just. No 
enemies. Still use your battery. Yeah, but it got refilled somehow. I don't what is know. using it? I'm gonna run away from this. Because if you get far enough away, it like deactivates your battery. Yeah, there you go. Okay. When you get far away, uh, far enough away from whatever your battery is charging, it'll just deactivate. All right. I wonder if it'll be another sludge like if I'll kill it three hits like the last one. I wonder if it'll be one of those uh, piranha plants from Super Mario Sunshine. Ooh. And there's some zombies up in here. And Flood will show up and he'll be like, Mario. Something shot out. Something shot out. He still no. needs to see his ancestor. The dissolved. The domain is surely safe now. Something shot out. Huh? Not good. No. No. What? You what? Think? Ooh, I don't like its head. Muncharak? Muncharak. He's just a little guy. This strange creature must be responsible. I bet this is what fucked the king up so bad. Oh. He's got a shark friend. Oh, I like the shark friend, not gonna lie. Get ready. Let's go, Lee. Take it from here. Go, 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 go. Get him. Get over here, you little so and so. Okay, now's our chance. <laughs> yeah, I got a million other friggin' swords. Tune for backup. And this is why we, we are literally had playing. lots of jellies beforehand. Okay, this is why I need to clear the sludge because you think about it. Yeah, because he's whining about not being able to just red the fucking piles of muck, bro. It's not that hard. Oh, that is a Super Mario Sunshine Sunshine Easter egg. Got this. Ass it's almost there. Yeah. It's almost there. I almost had him. I'm trying, but my arrow won't let me go up that high. For some reason. The sludge. That's going to make it hard to catch. Okay, now's our chance. Steady. Yeah. Oh, come on. He was just a little guy. He didn't deserve that. And it was his birthday. Look, 
It's all pretty now. Oh, yeah. and look at this. Extra heart container for Heart-ball. me. Do you think those are barely full necklaces? And look, this the little stone tear. is. Patsy yes. and Quentin, do you remember in Breath of the Wild when you defeated the uh, the Blights, the Blight Ganons, did you get heart containers from them? Quentin says, I don't remember. Patsy says, yes, you got heart oh. containers from them. Okay. I couldn't remember. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Sidon, my cherished kid. That force Listen, again. I feel like you should have gotten them since it was like a core game You're mechanic. the one we've been hearing this whole time? Indeed, I am your ancestor from a time long past. I served the first king of Hyrule as a Zora warrior and a sage who, like you, could direct the flow of water. You are the pride of the Zora, your fluid, graceful movements as you fight. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You bested the monster that so like not only, right but it was a servant of the greater <laughs> evil, the Demon King. His true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining the stone that you just found. My secret stone. That stone that you are wearing? Yes, and it is important you know more about the stone and the Demon King. So listen closely to what I have more to say. More memories? It concerns yes. the imprisoning war and the destiny of our people. Though we Zora live long lives, this all happened in a time ancient even to us. The kingdom of Hyrule was still in its infancy. A great evil. The demon king appeared. He invaded Hyrule and sought to cut the new kingdom's time short. But Raru, the first king of Hyrule, brought me and five other warriors together to oppose him. To fight the Demon King, Raru entrusted us with secret stones. Treasured artifacts that amplify the power of those who carry them. As the Sage of Water, I bore a secret stone and fought alongside my fellow sages in battle. However, the Demon King's power was overwhelming. Even my strongest defenses could not stop his ferocious attacks. In the end, our leader realized it would not be possible to defeat the Demon King outright. He chose to end the battle by sealing the Demon King away, sacrificing himself in the process. So that was the imprisoning war. Some time later, another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and the destiny of the Zora was made crystal clear. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that happens, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. We must help. Lend him your power. He will need the Zora's control over water. The course of the Zora's future was clear. It would be all That's what I thought too, to Quentin, but maybe it wasn't King. before. I swear to you that. I mean, it was in the middle of the war. Returns, 
The Zora Sage of Water. Moment. But this this is making it seem like it was sometime after Raru. The Zora people and their sage will fight alongside your swordsman. Maybe I just gotta I, I'm thinking the same thing you are, Quentin. It was after they imprisoned him that she turned into a dragon. That is everything. Yeah, I thought it was before Raru and war, Ganondorf and fought. Of the destiny of the Zora. Zora's domain is once again safe thanks to you. However, the Demon King continues to threaten all of Hyrule. Sidon, my cherished. Come king. on, Jelly! You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time. Fight alongside the Swordsman, Link. It's my destiny to fight by your side. Yeah, I could definitely had a bad or an incorrect feel on how the ti uh, timeline of events happened. I came here so that I could save Sora's domain. But it looks like all of Hyrule will need my help. I'll do all I can, just as my ancestor did. I will accept this secret stone. This is very cool. <laughs> Our etches on there. Yeah. I am the Sage of Water. Behold, this is my new power. Now are you gonna have access to his new power like you did with the other one? Looks like it. So it's just gonna be you but a fucking entourage. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Your hat. But he does have the tiniest little legs compared to everything else. <laughs> Quentin says this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. I, Sidon, the Sage of Water, swear that I will fight by your side. What was Sidon's wife's name? <laughs> I don't remember. Please accept this. It is proof of my vow. Anyway, she's like, I had a dream that started just like this. It's like you're squeezing really hard, dude. That's his fake hand, anyway. Yeah, Yona. Yona's like, she sees two Sidons, and she's like, I had a dream that's, that started just like this. That's so cool. I like how they're all going to fill in with color. Where's the other filled in? Oh, the pinky. The pinky. Yeah, the pinky. <laughs> With that ring, you will always have my power with you. We're partnered up again. Yes. All right. Let's head back home. Now let Logan ride your back. Just like old times. One moment while the switch struggles to load. Uh, uh, it's an OLED. I was going to say, he even has the upgraded one. Mine would have it's already not, just killed itself. It's not, it's even more than the OLED. It's it's the Zelda OLED as well, so it's brand new. Yeah. Mine would be perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> Glad you're embracing that we're calling yours the switch, too. Thank you, finally. Oh, it can play GameCube games. Oh. <laughs> can't. Apparently, it could play PS3 games. <laughs> oh, the water's flowing again. It was all dried up before. Quentin says it should have been made specifically for this game. I mean, there's definitely some kind of switch to coming. Oh, the king is back. Years. I see him in his little, little chair. It was a giant chair, but... Link, welcome back. Yeah, Link. Link, oh. <laughs> Link have you seen? No, I haven't. It's Jelly. 
<laughs> oh, you see jelly? Yeah, the ha second, but like the bottom half is all fucking jelly. It'll come back in a minute. It got worse. <laughs> it got worse? Yeah. Well, I'll just read it. Nothing yeah, much that's is happening. Fine. Yeah. Link, thanks to your courage, the inhabitants of Zora's domain are safe once again. No words could express express the depths the depths of my gratitude. Thank you, hero. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. See, I like this guy, uh, mm -hmm. Dorfin, because in the first game, he was like the only person who recognized Link for who he was when he showed up. Like everybody else was like, who's this raggedy kid who came crawling from the plateau? But Dorfin's like, oh, you're Link. You're you're like literally the champion. You're a big deal. So he always uh he always kind of like was my favorite because he actually recognized Link. And that's why he's king. And uh, Sidon recognized him too, but Thorfinn was just like cool about it. <laughs> Quinn says uh, the advisor recognized him too, but Logan hates the advisor. Oh, oh he yeah, killed the princess was, though. Yeah, that guy was also a huge dick. So that little green stingray guy in, to the left of this shot. You're in the shot. You're in the uh, shot. You're in the shot. As for you, shot. Sidon, though Link certainly played a key role, your efforts to save the domain were nothing short of magnificent. I've always believed in you, Sidon. Now, you have unequivocally, unequivocally, that's a weird word. I mean, I, it's not, but I, my mouth is having a hard time with it. Uh, proven your worthiness to bear the crown. That is why I shall joyously take this opportunity to pass the throne to you. Whoa. Oh, father, this is so sudden. No, it only seems that way. It only seems that way. In truth, it has been heavy on my mind for some time. Sidon, my son, it is time to ascend to, uh, it is a time, it is time to ascend. It is time to ascend the throne as the new king. Take Yona's hand and as one lead Zora's domain to a brighter tomorrow. Me? The king? Link hands him a crown and says, here, king, you drop this. Thank you, Father. I will not let you down. Did I miss something? Did I skip past something? Oh, no, I did. Okay. Thank you, Father. I will not let you down. I swear it. What? <laughs> oh, he needs to practice his weeps. Yes, he does. That's the spirit, my boy. I'm not giving up my chair, though. Now, accept your place upon the throne, the finest swordsman in all. Accept your place upon the throne. The finest swordsman in all of Hyrule shall bear witness to this monumentous occasion. Mweep. <laughs> Silence, everyone. The link's like, I'm here too. Mm hmm. I hereby inherit this crown from my father, the exalted Dorafan. From the moment on, from this moment on, I shall be king of the Zora. <laughs> and at this same precious moment, I ask you upon, I ask that you also upon your hearts to the new queen, my beloved Yona. Definitely read that wrong, but it's okay. The sludge threatens us no more. We are once again free to swim through uh, crystal uh, crystal waters beneath the azure skies without fear. Uh, we could have achieved this without our... We could not have achieved this without our dear King Sidon and our heroic Sir Link and all of us who called the domain home. I am so proud and so very grateful to count myself among the Zora of the domain. However... That does not mean that all matters have been resolved. Right you are, my love. Doing JoJo poses out here. 
So long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this place, uh, this piece we have fought so hard for could not vanish like a bubble on a needle. So long as darkness lurks in the depths of Hyrule, this piece we have fought so hard for, okay. We shall not allow that. It is now time for the Zora to help Link prevail. Everyone, I ask you, lend him your strength. <laughs> Are we doing a spirit bomb? Uh, doing just that shall be the first task that I ask, uh, that uh, first task that I and my partner in life and in leadership shall undertake as your king and queen. He's got a new hat. <laughs> Dorfin has a new hat. I want to see what it looks like. It just kind of looks like uh, a... I don't know what the word is for that. It looks like a beret. Yeah, yeah a beret. First things yeah, like, first, my friend. It's like when Malibu Stacy got a new hat. It's another Simpsons re reference. <laughs> first things first, my friend, regarding the whereabouts of Princess Zelda... When I obtained the secret stone, we saw a vision of that woman, the Sage of Time. The resemblance was uncanny, and she also knew your name. Could that have been the real Princess Zelda? By some strange occurrence that is... Uh, if by some strange occurrence that is so, uh, that would mean she has journeyed to the bygone era of my ancient ancestor. And yet, father was attacked by Princess Zelda in the here and now. It does not add up. I think he was attacked by Ganondorf. He for sure was. Those little things that look like the other ones, because that happened before in a cutscene. Uh-huh. Well, one thing we know for certain is that we need to know more. Link... Now. Yeah. Link, as I have ascended to the throne, I must offer my sincerest apologies for being unable to accompany you. Still, I shall continue gathering information about our lost Princess Zelda. Please promise that you shall once again... Uh, grace our fair Zora's domain with your presence sooner rather than later. Jojo uh -huh. Um Whatever comes to pass, uh, know that you and I will always be connected by the powers of a sage, no less. Bow, oh, Sidon, Sage of Water. Uh, all right. That's that dungeon done. Later, dorks. <laughs> Dorfin has not given up his chair. Look at that. He's still sitting in it. The only chair big enough for him. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, where, I'm gonna, where am I going to sit? Dorfin's like, I don't know, in the water. Uh, so I do want to point something out that I noticed. Okay. By the way. Uh, regarding how long it's been since Breath of the Wild. Uh, and I'm going to use visual aids. Uh, also, this guy is fantastic. I love this guy. He's like a uh, evil ninja, but he's goofy as hell. And he like trips over his own feet all the time. I love this guy. So one, one time we'll see. The... We've got our oh, own sludge we're dealing with here. Are oh, you dealing with sludge? <laughs> Oh, okay, I can see him now. Okay. So, what I noticed is, um, first we have these two. I told you about them already. Uh, Ronson and Hudson. How they had mm -hmm. a child, mm -hmm. and in the first game they got they got married and like they oh, met yeah. and got married. Yeah, and that's what we were so, estimating the time on. So enough time has passed for them to be married, get pregnant, have a child, and that child to grow up to a certain age. The other thing I realized is with uh pura the per the the character on the right is what she looked like in breath of the wild the character on the left is what she looks like now if she uh and i found a diary that said she's in her 20 year old body so if she is 10 years old on the right and she would be 20 on the left and the 10 years is plenty of time for uh, these two to have a child, that child to be a, a young adult and go on this like Gerudo journey back to Gerudo town. So yeah. I, 
I'm guesstimating it was probably it's probably been 10 years since Breath of the Wild based just on that information. Hmm. So that, that's longer what than I've what deduced. it seemed like. Yeah. Mm, just in their conversations at the beginning between Zelda and Link. Well, one sided conversations. The, the um, other thing that makes me think it's probably been about 10 years is that in Breath of the Wild, there's this old, there's this ancient Sheikah technology. It's what the Guardians are made out of. That's what the, um, that's what the uh, divine beasts are made out of. There's shrines. The shrines are made out of it. The, the towers are made out of it. It's everywhere. It's everywhere all over the place. It's littered all over the place. Ancient Sheikah technology all over the place. It's gone in this game. It's completely gone. There's no shrines. There's no towers. There's no guardians. There's no divine beasts. And I feel like if they were going to like comb through the whole map and get every piece of ancient Sheikah technology... 10 years would be enough time to do that, don't you think? Probably. So I'm guessing until I have more concrete evidence that it's been 10 years since Breath of the Wild. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I agree. You have solid arguments. Um. Okay, so next... We're not doing it tonight, obviously. But... Uh, next, we have uh, desert zombies or um, the Goron, the rock people that are. Yeah, it doesn't even address where the divine beasts are. I know. It's like, where were they? They're, they're just gone. I think they're disassembled and repurposed. That's what I think. Um, but so we have uh, desert zombies and a crazy storm that's just overtaken the whole desert. Or we can go up to Death Mountain, which is a volcano filled with rock people who are eating this like it looks like gloom infused rocks and they're just obsessively eating it and their eyes are all red so I don't know what's going on with that but uh, I'll let you pick where we go next uh probably the rock rock guys yeah alright so that's what we'll do next alright well I actually finished that way faster than I thought I would. I thought it was going to take... I thought we were going to go way over for me to finish it. Oh, down I go. Uh, Alright, well, that's a stream. What do you think? I think that's good. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, thank you to everyone for watching. If you like what you see, the follow is free. We also have two YouTube channels. Uh, I didn't say the first part of this, which was our Twitter account that has daily and weekly updates, but we're playing this day such week. But back to our two YouTube channels, one for our old edited videos and another one for our VODs that go up 24 hours after the stream ends, if somebody would actually work on it. Uh, we also have a Discord channel that you can go check out, as well as uh, Instagram for behind-the-scenes content. Uh, if you need links to any of that stuff, go to our website, carpetboredom.com. While you're there, go check out our podcast, the Carpet Boredom Podcast. We just had a new episode put up where I talk about cruise adventures and I apparently messed out all, I missed up or I left out a whole portion about how I met a dog so yeah whoops for real <laughs> everybody's mad at me because I forgot to talk about the dog um anyways uh, that'll be it uh, we'll be back tomorrow night me and Clayton are playing we're not playing Clayton is tech demoing the uh, Asus ROG ally Mm -hmm. We're going to be stress testing and uh, and uh, tech demoing that thing. It'll be really, really fun. You also told each day backwards. You said our afternoon adventures first. <laughs> Did I? Oh. He was all over the place. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Listen, the story's got told. It's okay. Mm -hmm. um, Next time we're just going to have Quentin on to tell all the stories. <laughs> Quentin, Quentin, we need you to be like, ba 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 you forgot something. Quentin shushes me. Shelby just clenches her fists. It's like, that's fine. It's, as long as it's not to me. All right. Well, we'll be back tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. for Asus ROG Ally Tech Demo and Stress Test. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>